We welcome our second guest this morning, Swami G, and we are going to be discussing uh, life after death, including the nature of the soul. Swami G, this is not your first time to join us in the studio. Good morning and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank Good morning. Thank you. Yes. Um, life after death. This is a very um, controversial uh, topic, you know. People, some people still believe there isn't life after death, but there is. There is. Yeah. Because th the, this controversy results from confusion. Mm -hmm. People are thinking that the body is the self. And they're not looking toward the conscious force, the life within the body. Mm. We all had a child's body. Where you get a young person's body, an old person's body. Body's changing, changing, changing. But within the body, the same person is there. You remember when you were a child. Yeah. I remember when I was a child. Mm. Because I'm the same person, you're the same person. But your child's body is gone. My child's body is gone. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So th that's the nature of matter. It comes and goes. This table, it comes, it goes. Everything in the material world, planets, they come, they go. But consciousness, life, is always there. In all those changes of body, you are the same person. Yeah. So, because it's, it's nature is that it's permanent. Yeah. Well, it's understandable in the, in the sense that, you know, uh, growth, you know, when I was a child and now becoming a teenager and an old person. But when we're talking about death, you know, me being buried underground and still believing that, you know, there could be life after that. Because what's buried in the ground is the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the body is, is buried, but life can't be buried. It can't be cut, it can't be burned, it can't be drowned. It's I indestructible. So what happens then when somebody dies and then, you know, there is life after? That's explained in this book, mm -hmm. Bhagavad Gita, mm -hmm. that after this, this life, mm -hmm. we go to the next life. Just as we've changed from the small body to the younger body, older body, mm -hmm. so then we change to a new body, a new lifetime. That's called death. Just like changing clothes. I take off one shirt, I put on another shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm the same person, but changing to one color shirt, another color shirt. Yeah. So is this why, you know, that there's this, uh, we've heard of stories where, you know, the soul can even get into cat. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that when I die, my soul will get into a newborn baby. It could be No, because be this, is the, this is the opportunity. The human life is meant for spiritual realization, for inquiry about who we are, who God is, what mm -hmm. we're doing here. If we don't use it for that purpose, then we don't get another one mm -hmm. of the same nature because we didn't use it. Mm -hmm. So then you can go to a cat body, dog body, this body, that body, where there's no opportunity for spiritual realization. Mm -hmm. The pig, the pig is interested in eating, eating more, mm -hmm. having sex, eating some more, sleeping. Mm -hmm. That's all they do is eat, sleep, defend themselves. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. So that's why it's important to nurture the soul while you're still alive. Yes. How do you do that? In the human form of life, we can take advantage of the opportunity to read uh, such spiritual books as Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. And the easiest method for spiritual realization mm -hmm. in this life is to sing God's names. Mm -hmm. In every scripture, there are different names of God. Or, or we have an all-attractive name, Krishna. Mm -hmm. Krishna means God. Whether you're Christian, Hindu, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Krishna means for everyone. Mm -hmm. So we have this mantra or a prayer, mm -hmm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, mm -hmm. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Rama Nama, Hare Hare. Easy. Three, three, three words, Hare Krishna and Rama. In English, what does it mean? Well, they're names of God, and the meaning is, my dear God uh, and my dear merciful energy of God, please let me be engaged in my relationship with you by serving you. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it, 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 it's very interesting. I guess we have different, even in our country, you know, mm -hmm. we have different um, religions. Sure. But then even in Christianity, we have different churches with different methodologies oh, yeah. and policies. So how does one uh, choose, you know, in terms of uh, connecting with God and nurturing the spirit as we were discussing so that, you know, they have um, a fulfilling uh, life even after death. How does one choose which one is? It's not so much a question of this church, that church, this religion, that religion. That changes. Mm -hmm. But we want to understand, just like mathematics, it doesn't matter whether you go to this school or that school or but the other school. But one plus one is two. Mm, one, mm. one plus one is two. Mm. So spiritual knowledge is one. So you can take advantage of so many books of knowledge, especially this Bhagavad Gita is a very deep book mm. of knowledge. Where does one get this Bhagavad Gita? Gita. You can get this at our center mm -hmm. uh, here in Kabarone. Where is your center located? It's now let's see, it's in part two, I think. Phase two. Phase two. Okay, yeah. Across from that school. Uh, Baobab. Yeah, Baobab. Okay. Oh, and that's it's open to huge, everyone. nice building. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, it, it's 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 very interesting, uh, especially that you know it's 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 kind of different from what um, the other religions are teaching. But in the the main point is we're talking about God being the center here, and then. Christians talk about heaven, mm -hmm. you know, as a place where your soul goes or where you go after death. They don't talk about uh, your soul re-entering another being after death. Yeah, uh, this basic idea is there that there's a soul and there's life after death, but we don't get very much information about it, mm -hmm. just that there's heaven and what do you do in heaven? Mm -hmm. And, and you only live once and then it's either heaven or hell. Yes. That's quite a tough deal. Mm -hmm. Someone uh, is not 100% God conscious and he has to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Or he's whatever. But the same idea is there, that there's heaven, that there's hell. But we get a clearer understanding when we look in the Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. That we go, f suppose you're 50% God conscious in this life. It's not that you have to just go to hell forever, but you get another chance. And you can start from 50% and, and go up. If you end at 70%, you can begin from 71%. Not just, I mean, a, a father it doesn't give you like one chance and that's it. Mm -hmm. But many chances. But if you turn away, that's your, if we turn away, that's our misfortune. Mm -hmm. Then we have to go down, we get sent back. Mm. But if we turn toward God, it's yeah. our good fortune. So let's say uh, I'm Pauline right now. Mm -hmm. I die and my soul, obviously, is going to be in the air somewhere. And then it enters, let's say, another baby. Mm -hmm. You know, when, I, when that baby grows up, am I aware in that state that I'm still Pauline who died? No, we forget. I, mean, I don't even remember where I put the keys to my car. Mm -hmm. Right? We forget so easily. So how then do I uh, fix it? How what happens is, whatever progress you made, mm -hmm. that's permanent. So that automatically you begin. Just like some people, they're naturally attracted to God. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It means past credit. They already cultivated that. Mm -hmm. Now they're picking it up just automatically from where they left off. Mm -hmm. Or someone's born in a religious family, a uh, godly family. Why is that? because of their past progress. Mm. And someone else, it's like, they don't want to hear about God, they're against God, or they're born in some country where God is like stamped out. Why is that? Mm. That's what they wanted. They turned away, and so they're making further progress, mm. you can call it, along the path they've chosen. Mm. Either a, a progress down or progress up. Mm. It's up to us. It's not just that mm, w what we do in this life is meaningless, that there's no result, that it has no consequence. Just like in school, if you study hard, you go on to higher education, good job, and you goof off, waste your time, yeah. then you go down. Yeah. Because there's life after, after high school, right? Mm, that's true. Yeah. So the same thing. This life, if we use it well, we can go up. Mm. Or we can reach the highest destination, mm. go back to God. Mm. 
Swamiji, um, uh, uh, we've run out of time, but we have uh, uh, the other uh, priest coming yes. in, you know, to discuss uh, a different concept, uh, the nature of the soul. Yes. So thank you very much for coming through. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Pauline. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Swamiji, Ritejalo Kayone, Life After Death, Mua, Waha Otta La Onto Otila, La Hau Tokahet, Mu Hua to know your horror, O Bangane, Limo, Nakoing Etang, Keka Habari Melangating, Arto Lepele, Teramahalejalo, Omongue, Reteribuaka, Nemo, or Mu Bangana Jack.